Today, we're back in my 1.18 hardcore world. What is that villager staring at? Give it some time, buddy. It'll grow, I promise. But ladies, gentlemen, today we have big build plans. See this pretty face right here? I want to build that pretty face. Basically, I want to make a giant statue of my skin, but not just using normal Minecraft blocks like wool or terracotta or something basic like that. No, no, no. We're going to be using ores. And I am super duper excited for this because I've built my skin before in Minecraft, but never with something like ores. It's so unique and so cool and I love it. So that being said, let's get to work. There's much to do. First off, do I have any ores in here already? I have six. That is not a lot of ores. Well, you know what that means. We gotta go hit the mine and get to mining. Staring contest. And as I fly to the mine, please subscribe and hit the bell. I would really appreciate it. And here we are. So guys, we gotta literally get a ton of iron and copper and diamonds and gold and all these different ores. Now, if you're smart like me, you might be thinking, Farzi, you got an iron farm, a gold farm. Why are you mining these blocks? Because here's the rule. I can't use ingots or blocks blocks of ingots. I have to use raw materials like ore or raw blocks. That's gonna make this challenge way harder, but also much more rewarding if we actually finish it. Side note, why do I literally mine nothing? This is good for today, but why did I skip all these blocks? I'm a weird human being. So my first goal, collect one of every kind of ore in the game. Oh, hello slime. I kind of want to keep a pet slime, not gonna lie to you. That sounds like fun. So at this point, I knew I had a big journey ahead of me. So I started live streaming on YouTube and began the adventure. I mined so many ores and gems, regardless of who is standing in the way of them. Now this was a grind until I found something insane. I found a copper vein. For those who don't know, ore veins are gigantic deposits of thousands of ores. They're super rare and somehow I found one on today of all days. Oh, it's here. <gasps> Let's go. That's a vein. That is a vein. That is a vein. So I grabbed all the copper I could and headed back home. Oh my gosh, what a big mining session. We have so many ores. And thanks in part to that copper vein, I think I have enough materials to actually start building our statue. And it's raining. Yay, I hate the rain. But anyways, let's think about where we're gonna put this statue. Now, I've been doing a little bit of thinking about this, and I'm gonna put it down over this way across the water over here. And I have a really cool idea for this. So basically, over here is my farm town, right? Over there is my castle rich area. And down there is the fishing area. I'm gonna make a new area today over across the water called the fun area. Basically, everything I've built so far is somewhat realistic. So if I built a giant ore statue here, it would just look weird. But now we have the fun area, a place to make random crazy builds without any fear of it fitting in. And this is the perfect place for a giant statue. So I'm gonna smack it right yeah. Sorry, cows. You're not very fun. This is the fun area. You're on thin ice. I'll be watching you. All right. That being said, let's get to building. So let's look at my skin. Take the armor off. How am I going to do this? There's a lot of dark blocks in here. I'll figure it out. Let's get to work. So to practice, I hopped in a separate creative mode world and built my skin using normal blocks. After that, I made the exact same statue again, but this time using only ore blocks. And after about one hour of testing, I liked what I built. So you know what that means. It was time to build the statue in the hardcore world. Wow, it looks just like me. All jokes aside, somehow I ran out of iron and copper already. That was very fast. So I gotta go get some more deep slate copper. But that being said, we did make more than half the suit, so that's a really good start. But I do gotta go figure out a few more things, such as how I'm gonna make the hair, which is yellow, and my skin, because there's no, like, tan color I can think of right now. Oh, wait, actually, there is wait, watch this. I'm a genius. If I fortune this iron and I find a crafting bench, I can craft this into blocks of raw iron, which kind of sort of looks like my skin skin color a little bit, but you know what? It's the best I can do. So we're doing that. The ideas are flowing. I love this. Also, hello, random wolf. Do you like me? No, I guess not. Okay. So I guess you guys know the drill. We got to go back to the mine. Wait just one second. Hold the phone. I was about to put my stuff in my shulker box. Then I realized that's full. That's full. 
I need more shulker boxes. And as far as I know, I don't have any more shulker shells. So you know what that means? We gotta go end busting. So let me throw all my junk in here and let's take a quick pit stop. I need some more fireworks though, so I don't die. That would not be good. This episode has taken a pretty weird turn, but you gotta do what you gotta do to make the statue. So I flew over to the stronghold, hopped in the portal and went to the end. All right, howdy, howdy. So I've been to that end portal. I have not been to that one. Let's do this safely and securely. Gentle. Gentle. I am sweating so hard right now. How can I do this safely? Please, 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 please. I hate that. Oh, it's such a lag. I hate it. But we're here. All right, sweet. Off to go find an end city. Oh, that was fast. Well, okay. I'm not going to complain. We found one. Oh, hello there, shulker friends. Hello there, buddy. Don't do that. Wait a minute, I just realized something. I never got the dragon head. Even back when I first fought the dragon and came here, I never got the head. Wow, I'm an idiot. I'll be taking that. This looks so silly right now. And back home we go. And boom, that is more shulkers. Now we can go back to the mine. So I flew back down and got the rest of the blocks that I needed. All right, this has to be enough blocks. I've mined for so long. So let's go finish off this big monstrosity, shall we? Oh my, he's glorious. This thing came out so good. Now, obviously there are a few blocks that aren't ores, like there's some diorite there. There is some dripstone up there. There are a few things I had to do some substitutes for, but for the most part, it is all ores and it looks so good. I literally love this. And congratulations to the first build in the fun area. But that being said, not the last one for today. Let me explain. Last episode, I said if the video got 2,400 likes, I would make a monument to Broderick. And you guys did it. So that being said, why don't we make an ore statue of Broderick right next to my statue? How does that sound? Sound like fun? Speaking of which, how's your thesis going? Title page, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, he has a new chapter. Yeah, I'm lazy, so I'm not gonna read all that, but feel free to pause the video. Oh my gosh, Broderick, you're so wise. All right, let's get to building. So where should I put this thing? Maybe just like right next to me down here? Sounds good to me. So so like I did earlier, I popped in a separate creative mode world, made a chicken statue, and converted that statue into ore blocks after. So for the chicken, I'm gonna need a lot of gold and a lot of iron. Now luckily I have a good amount of gold right here, but iron, I used pretty much all of it on the statue. So we're gonna go mining again, but I have a really fun idea to make this a lot more entertaining. As you saw earlier, I found a copper vein to get a ton of copper. So I'm gonna go search for an iron vein. Let's do this thing. So I did some research and I found out iron veins spawn in these tough patches. They're very rare, but they do spawn in here sometimes. So I gotta dig around and find one. Nothing here. On we go to the next one. So I looked around for a bit, but no iron vein. Ooh, hello. Don't mind if I do. But then we found something. Wait, there's a lot of iron here in this tough patch. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I can't see. I need light. Give me that. Okay, wait, wait. Wait, guys, this has to be one. There's no way. There's so much iron down here. Okay, there is no more doubts. This is an iron vein. Dude, that is insane. We found a copper and an iron vein in one episode. Are these like not as rare as I thought? I'm so confused right now. So I mined all the iron I possibly needed and then I found something even cooler. Ooh, mob spawner. What do we got? Please be skeleton. Please be skeleton. <gasps> guys, I am so happy. I've been looking for a skeleton spawner for 30 episodes now. I finally found my first one. Finally, I can make a farm for bones. I have been wanting that for so long. What do we got for Lou? Golden apple. Oh, name tag. And... I don't care about that, but I will definitely be back here soon. And the coordinates are saved. Perfect. Well, that's convenient. The skeleton spawner is right below this pillar, which is right in the middle of my town. How'd I miss that for so long? All right, let's go build Broderick. Looks good, looks good. Now, by the way, those gold raw blocks took forever to get, so please appreciate that I used them in both builds. It was very annoying. But anyways, I kind of want to make his eyes blue to match my eyes. I think it looks cooler that way. Wha All right, Broderick, get some nice blue eyeballs in there. Eh. 
Do I like that? You know what? It's fine. I'll keep it. Now they're matching. But there we go. We have my statue. We have Broderick's statue. I could mix in, you know, some more like copper stuff inside of here. But just to keep it simple for now, I just did this. Oh, Broderick, I got a surprise for you. Come over here. Let's go. You're gonna love it. Come on. We're almost there. Ta-da. Look at it, Broderick. It's you. It's amazing. No, look at it over there. That way. There. Oh, he sees it. He's going towards it. I think he likes it. So what do you think, buddy? Okay, that was just uncalled for. All right, we're back. Write about that in your journal. Oh, Charlton, do you want a statue too? I kind of feel bad now. He looks so sad. All right, if this video gets 2,500 likes, I will build Broderick his own statue. Please like the video. Look at his little face. He's so cute. And that's called guilt tripping. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I want to add some copper in here now. It's kind of bugging me. It looks a little bit too bland now that I think about it. Oh yeah, much better. Oh, you know what I should do? I should make a giant wall here at this village so it separates fun area from like the realistic town area. That could be a future plan for sure. But that being said, we have more things to do today. Very important. What the heck? Get away from the chimney. It's hot. Don't burn yourself, idiot. What I was going to say is we have things to do today. Really important things. One of them being making that skeleton farm. Because let's face it, my only source of bone meal in this world right now is this iron farm. But I'll be honest, this bone meal farm is not very fast. It's cool that I have one, but it's, it's not very good. So let's go make a skeleton farm. Let me just take care of these shulker boxes first. Wait, side note, I have not made a jukebox yet. Let's change that. Boom and boom. And I'm pretty sure if I play this jukebox out in a meadow biome, like right here, for example, achievement, disco break. I'm sorry, I'm getting carried away. <laughs> let's get back to work. All right, where is that pillar I saw? Right there, I got the eyes of a hawk. So let's pop down here and let's make ourselves an XP farm. Actually, no, I don't need an XP farm. I just want an AFK bone meal farm. Oh, hello, Creeper City. How you doing? Wait a second. This is right next to my other farm. I'm pretty sure that's my spider and zombie farm from episode like two. There we go. All right, we're here. So as I said, I don't need to make some elaborate XP farm. All I gotta do is get all the skeletons to be flushed into one spot where lava can kill them. Seems simple enough. Let's get to work. Okay, don't mind if I do. I love diamonds. Oh no, the spotter is getting wet. It's gonna get all mushy. I'm a weird person. Oh snap, there's bedrock here. That's not good. But don't you worry, far as he always has a plan. I am literally a genius. You just wait and see. Diamonds, not the time, I'm busy. Fine, I'll take you. Why must the spawner be at bedrock level? It's making my life so difficult right now. Despite the annoying bedrock, we still got the farm done. All right, I got a good feeling about this. So basically, I made a skeleton elevator to bring the skeletons from the spawner right to this block right here. Now in this block here, I'm gonna have a lava source. Boom, 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 boom. I'll probably use glass later, but for now this is fine. Put a sign right there and I go Boop. And now we go hopper with a chest right next to it. Would this work if I just stacked hoppers and chests like that? I'm not good at redstone. I think that would work, but anyways, who cares? Well, I care, but for now, who cares? It looks like it's gonna work, so yay. So allow me to pop back inside of here and break the torches off the spawner. Right, all right, they're spawning. Okay, get out, run, run away. I'm gonna go in here and patch this up and hopefully they're gonna land right there. Come on. <gasps> it's working and wait, wait, wait. I love this game. Well, there we have it. We finally have a bone farm, a skeleton farm, and I can AFK down here and be totally safe and cool. But that being said, let's make it look a little prettier because this is just a disgusting mess right now. So I guess I'll make a little staircase ladder system to get back up. It should be right here. Oh jeez, that could have been bad. On we go. Ladder system, check. Now time to decorate. And there we go. It's small, it's not very big, but it looks awesome. We got this nice glass to watch the skeletons die. That sounds morbid. We got our chests and our hoppers, and most importantly, we have another window here to watch the skeletons get flown up into the system. It's really cool. I do like it a lot. But that being said, we are all set with the skeleton farm. This thing's gonna be such a help for me in this world. But oh my gosh, this ladder system is so, so far. It's like a 60 second climb. Stupid 
stupid new world height 1.18 you stink you know what i probably gotta put something here this is like dangerous a mob could just walk down here and go kill me so you know what let's think of something to build i actually have a pretty good idea my idea is to make a little bit of a well here and i'm only saying this because i have a well right here which actually leads down to my spider and zombie farm so i'm gonna steal this design and put it over there all right let's see what i can do a little bit of this some of this and some of this looking good but now we need to put the fence with a little thingy under that like that the chain and then the cauldron attached to this thing like that and here is where the magic happens we put down a bunch of signs right here and we toss the water right up here now there's water in the cauldron but when we're down underneath you can't even get touched by it it's perfect and finished oh my goodness wait i take it back hold on finished <laughs> we now have a glorious skeleton farm and an amazing well to get there but guys i'm gonna end the episode here so make sure to like subscribe do all the good stuff and i'll talk to you guys next time so until then goodbye